Hello and welcome to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today I'm joined with my father who is making his way over from the vehicle and we are heading up Stewart, sorry, Stewart Falls. We're going to be hiking up the Aspen Grove Trailhead up toward Mount Tipinogos. So the trail goes that way up there. That says Stewart Cascades, that goes off that way. We're not going that way. The Mount Tipinogos Trailhead. There we go. There you can see, we are just above the uh, small resort town of Sundance. That's the uh, parking for the trail. And we're just hiking it on the switchbacks. Nice day. All right, we took the wrong trail. We were on the lame horse trail. <laughs> That's the one we want. Hello. Hiking up and we see moose. It's not often you get to see two moves. <laughs> Made it to the first waterfall. I forgot to do this further back, but I wanted to show you where we were headed. So we are headed into the uh, talus. It's just, it's just barely visible over this little ridge. That is where we are heading. That is where the fossils are. So up here, it's natural to find wild raspberries. Ready Made it to the second waterfall.
past the waterfall, the second one, looking out over the valley down towards Sundance. Educate us on the plants here. What are we looking at here? Elderberries. Elderberries. Just pausing for a rest under the one tree here. <laughs> and just looking back that way. All right, now that we're further up, right there, as you can see, is where we are headed. That is where we're gonna look for the fossils. We are almost to the talus slope. Just a short hike and we're there and we'll be looking for fossils. Okay, made it to the talus slope. Put my sunglasses on, it's bright out here. And here we are. We have a cliff it's coming off of. Um, I don't remember exactly which unit up there it's coming from. If I find out, I'll put a line on this so you can see it. But this is the area. So you're going to have a mixture of your quartzite slash sandstone unit that's higher up that I talked about in that other video when I was on the other side of the mountain. And the age period here we're talking about, we're in the Paleozoic. So we're talking about the three to four hundred million year time period up to about two hundred million years. Uh, the very top of the mountain you'll get up to the Triassic. And you can see some limestone right through here and then it changes up to sandstone and quartzite. This is where we're supposed to be looking. This is where I remember from a long time ago. Ah, we got some ripple marks on that rock. So it could be a shoreline slash river running into the ocean. All right, I found the first piece. And um, unfortunately, the GoPro doesn't do good close-ups. But hopefully you can kind of see what's going on here. All right, so we've got a bunch of little crinoid stems all through it. We've got some nice corals there. There's a bryozoan right there. It's not a very good one. There's much better ones up here, but at least it's a start. Right next to that one, I pulled this one out. There we go. We got a nice little clamshell right there. Another one there and a few other things through it. As I was heading back to grab my pack with the hand pick in it, I came across this nice big one. There are all kinds of fossils through there. So, what have I seen here? Mostly small things. We've got a coral right there. A bunch of crinoids. This probably used to be a, a clamshell, and look, it filled in with calcite crystals. That's pretty cool, huh? And yeah, mostly that's what I'm seeing, just a bunch of little things on this one. My dad found his first one, there it is. We got a nice little clamshell and a crinoid. Okay, getting a little better. We got a nice bryozoan right there. The crinoid. A little better. Still looking for the good stuff now. While I'm on the hunt, just thought I'd show you how it looks from up here. Emerald Lake is just over that ridge. My dad. These places where probably used to be some kind of clam shell filled in with calcite. Quite pretty. Maybe I'll find a nice one to keep. Yeah, I found a pretty nice one. Look at that. Nice little K2 
calcite crystal pocket. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get that kind of in focus. Back it up a little bit. And then on this side too. Some pretty lines on that sandstone right there. And there are more pockets of calcite. And a big one over here. Now that probably wasn't a shell. That was probably just a hollow void that formed somehow. That is some pretty cool looking limestone. <laughs> Sometimes just the natural form of the rock is beautiful. Okay, broke it down. Managed to keep that. Nice. You can see how this uh, probably was a brachiopod right there, and this probably was too, and filled in with crystals. Look at that piece. Some of the calcite pockets get pretty big, don't they? I'd like to get a fresh one, you know, break a rock open. Not something that's been weathering. All right. Here is a bitter, bigger piece that has some nice stuff on it. It's got all kinds of things there. Got your clam shells, crinoids, got a few corals, some bryozoans, all kinds of stuff. If you see anything in this picture that you can identify, if I haven't, go ahead and comment. That's bryozoan right there. Now that is an interesting thing right there. Huh, it's like a big... No, like a, a burrow or something that filled in with calcite. All right, I wanted to just take a minute and talk about the area. This is a wilderness area. It's a beautiful area and we want to keep it preserved. So in wilderness areas, we don't go and dig holes in the ground looking for minerals. Now, just take a stuff off the surface, and that way you preserve the natural beauty. As I go along, I haven't been seeing much on the dark limestone, kind of the dark gray, but this one has a really nice bryozoan on it. Huh. I might want to try and get that one out. All right, my dad came down and he found something interesting right there. Take a closer look at that and see if we can identify what that is. It's very shiny and black. Probably some kind of shell, but I'll take a closer look. Managed to get it off. I'll go ahead and take that home and we'll get a nice close up of it. Try not to get, not to get too much vertigo. It's pretty steep here. Wild currents here. It's really pretty through here. Okay, found something maybe worth taking. This black limestone has some nice crinoids in it. If you remember, there was one I showed from a previous video. This must be where it's coming from. And there's the crinoid there, comes through right there, you can see it. And then there's another one right there. So we're gonna try and see if we can't get at least one of these out in decent shape. Quite a few in there. So what I might be able to do is, uh, when I have equipment, cut and polish. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and keep that, and I think down the road I'll try and cut and polish it up, make a really nice slab out of it. the other side of those ones. I think I'll just keep that one. 
<laughs> These are heavy. Look at that. Wow. That, that, that's cool. That came out. Nice. Got luck. That's where it popped out. There's still more there. Here we go. Try again. Try to get the rest of it. I'm gonna put that way first, though. Mm -hmm. So we're safe. Go on the side. go. I scrag. There. Got it. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. And that is the end of our rock counting adventure. We are going to head back now. It's getting later and it's warm and you know getting low on water and things like that. So we're going to head back down. So I am going to, instead of doing the video where I show the stuff afterward, instead I'm going to take pictures because I have a better camera to take a close up, but it doesn't do good video. So I'm going to take some pictures and that's how we're going to end this video. So enjoy the pictures and we'll see you next time. Okay, we were hiking down the trail and we're down below where I was thinking and look what we came across in the trail. Look at the size of that clam. Beautiful.